So have you heard of greenwashing? It's kind of like that shampoo, it's probably still around, that was called Herbal Essences when I was growing up that is capitalizing on a trend towards natural and has actually nothing natural going on inside, but is marketing itself as such. And I think a version of that is going on in the health and wellness, particularly the holistic and functional medicine coaching world. And I'll explain what I mean. So when you are sick and you have symptoms, you are really, really vulnerable to poor me, no fair, I hate this victim consciousness. So when we are sick, we are conditioned to be scared. You poor, sad patient are then in triangulation with the other members of the victim triangle. So the villain, which is these horrible symptoms that are happening to you. And then there is the rescuer, that's a halo, who is here to save the day. So here you are with your belief that I'm broken, damaged, and worthless. And conventional medicine is reliant on this belief so that it can come and rescue you from none other than your own self, your own body. That's what you're fighting. Functional medicine and holistic medicine, I would argue, are operating on the very same premise. So I trained in functional medicine and I think with the best of intentions, what happens is that the rescuer, the clinician, becomes the only person with access to the very fancy, expensive, very long list of tests that you need to find out what is wrong with you. Therefore, that person has all of the answers and can offer you all of the solutions in the form of an external transitional object known as supplements. So even though you may be looking for the root cause, you're still fighting your body and all of its now very well quantified problems and mistakes and all of the ways that you need to make it do better. And that's why the underlying mindset of so many functional medicine and holistic wellness coaching is the same as allopathic medicine. It is greenwashed because you still have this sense that I am broken, I am helpless, and I am dependent on this rescuer. And this is how chronic, even so-called professional patients are made, where there's actually no possibility of winning this war against yourself. So you just keep finding new, complicated, expensive ways of fighting it. Truly holistic coaching and wellness approaches require the resolution of the notion that there is anything wrong here, that your body ever makes mistakes and the elimination of that villain also requires that you relinquish the idea that there's a savior by taking personal responsibility and knowing that you have choices. And truly holistic coaching resolves and even alchemizes the what if, what if this gets worse? What if it progresses? What if I don't do the right thing? What if there's even a deeper problem that I wasn't aware of into the possible best case, what if? What if I actually step into vitality that I never even knew was available? What if this was exactly what I needed to move me out of my old story into my new life? I've been studying victim consciousness for over a decade and what I've recognized is that the maturation out of this childlike state requires an initiation so that we can reclaim our responsibility and the power of our choice. And that's why I created the only program of its kind that has outcomes to demonstrate and prove that you can emancipate yourself from the patient mentality, from the sickness consciousness, and that when you recruit help, it's because you are supporting your own intuition, your body's wisdom, and not because you're afraid of what could happen if you don't. Success is not measured in your compliance as an ongoing patient. It's measured by the pattern disruption of your old mentality and your associated symptoms so that you can go forth and share with the world what is possible when you align with yourself and you resolve your own victim story. This business model is quite different. So if you actually are called to serve and help others reclaim their health, then maybe you should certify as a coach in a program that actually intends to do that.